This is the single leg glute bridge chop. So this exercise is looking to feel a lot in the back of our leg, glutes, hamstrings, and it'll work in our core and our shoulders. So we need a weight, or we can also use a resistance band, which I'll show you, but we're gonna go into a single leg glute bridge. So I get to my back first, and do a slight bend with both knees, I'm gonna bring one knee in towards the chest. I like to go on my heel to start with, gives me something to push into, also helps to activate that back side a little bit. Foot flat is also fine. Once I'm there, I'm going to get my weight set, I'm going to bridge my hips. I'm going to push from my belt buckle, squeeze the back of my leg. Then I'm going to grab one hand on either side of my dumbbell. The leg that's down on the floor, I'm going to start with the weight at that hip pocket. Kind of thumbs up towards the ceiling. I'm going to diagonal across my body, up and over my head and shoulder, and chop back down to my hip. So my goal here is to have my backside, glutes, hamstrings, keep me up, brace with my core to connect my upper and lower body, and do my best with the weight. Don't let it pull me or twist me out of that position. So the tendency as the arms get back behind the head or over the head is to have the ribs kind of push out or the belly button out. You want to go as far as you can keeping that good back and forth position and feeling the legs, core, and shoulders doing the work. Should really light up glutes and hamstrings, but nothing in the lower back. You can trade out a weight for a resistance band if you just grab that. You want to keep a little tension in that band so it's helping to activate this pillar or from shoulders to hips. You want a little activation with some tension on the band. We can do the same thing from there. Down to the hip, thumbs up, diagonal chop. Trying to keep the same amount of tension in that mini band at all times to help activate our whole body here. All right, so that's a single leg glute bridge chop. 